Well, we got a new development, and I'm in a different boat. Well, kayak. Rather. So let me get somewhere that's not too windy and talk about it a little bit. Take this guy out, and you're saying to yourself, boy, this looks like a lot like that other kayak you were on a, uh, a month ago, right, Elias? And you were partially correct. It does look like it, but... I hope I'm not going to sink in this mud. Well, I've been quietly using a different kayak for the last week and change. Not so quietly now. Uh, long story short, uh, Old Town sent me that Topwater 120 to try out a month and a half ago, which I thought was a fine boat, but I also thought it was a boat that I would never use. Fast forward a month and a half later, uh, that boat was donated to Heroes on the Water. I went to iCast and I tried out this boat. Okay, and that's the Old Town Predator PDL. Uh, yeah, and I've been fishing on it pretty aggressively last week and change, so it's dirty and muddy and all that stuff. So this boat che checked off a major criteria for me uh, versus the other Old Town boat, which was speed. Uh, this boat certainly had a good amount of speed for a bigger boat. Um, it's 13 feet long and uh, 36 inches wide, but uh, you got a bone dry hatch on here. These hatches are awesome. That's that PDL drive. Um, so this thing, I've been cruising comfortably uh, around three and a half, four knots, comfortably, which to me is important. Uh, that's comparable to the speeds of the other boats I've been on. Uh, it's got the gear tracks for all that stuff. It's got plenty of storage, uh, rod holder. It's got a transducer plate. We'll put a, um, a fish finder on there shortly. It's got a comfortable seat. It's got storage under there. You got your front hatch storage. Some, some now some serious pros about it, right? In my opinion, a dry ride in uh, choppy water, right? Uh, if it's if it's bumpy out, for a big boat that you know can take a beating and bounce a lot, it's pretty darn dry, and it actually cuts through chop really well for a fat boat. <laughs> That's the, what I'll call it. For a fat boat, it chops through the, the water really well. Initial stability or primary stability, it's really impressive. I mean, standing up on it doesn't feel tippy or just, you know, kind of off. Uh, it, it feels like I'm going to have to really push the envelope to accidentally roll this thing. Uh, we'll, we'll try to do some self-rescue on it probably in a week or two just to get an idea. But yeah, it's, uh, it's rock solid in that regard too. Um, for a big boat, it is, it's really well balanced for a big boat. That's how I want to describe it. It's a really balanced platform for a big boat. So yeah, this is going to be one of my platforms I'm going to use going forward. Um, you know, Old Town takes back, takes feedback from me and other guys. Um, you know, I'm a specific type of angler, how I fish, a boring angler. You know, I just do pretty boring stuff. I mean, I go out front, I jig. They take feedback from just ordinary dudes fishing. That's all I am, is ordinary dude going out fishing. And yeah, so far I've liked it. Uh, so we will keep this in our fleet and we will use this as our primary back bay boat. We'll get in the ocean with it when we can and we'll travel with it. And I've been pretty darn happy with my initial impressions of it. So, and this isn't bullshitting, this is my choice to to get a different boat and obviously i tried it out happenstance with that outback cracking uh, i decided to you know figure out a way to get you know another kayak in my fleet so that being said um, i'm probably going to be using this guy in the backwater um, out front when i get that weather you know here and there not too often that revo 16 is going to get used for long distance backwater you know trekking which i do sometimes you know make maybe like an eight mile marsh trip like i did maybe three weeks ago in that video i finally figured out what i like my rio for uh north carolina and it was stuff that i did uh about two weeks ago it was awesome for that sort of fishing long distance you know hitting a lot of different stuff and um that outback is just going to get used in surf launching that outback will stay home for all of my backwater stuff and this is what's going to get used so uh, from here, it's your fishing video, um, you know, just very basic stuff, and uh, we'll see where this goes in the future. So it seems like a lot of interest is pushing me to, to jump on a boat based on the uh, comments I get a lot more lately is get a boat, ditch the kayak, get a real boat. So it's something that I'm working on. We'll see.
but here's what I got for now. So uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of this. Thank you to the guys at Old Town. Uh, again, really a pleasure to work with. I really appreciate everything they're doing um, with me and other guys too. So it's cool. All right, let me get back to the car and we'll talk. We'll talk soon. So enjoy the other half of this one. First fish. Not sure what it is. Probably a drum. Yeah, it's gotta be a drum. Alright, that's my first fish on the Predator. It's a decent sized black drum. Oh, you know, puppy drum. Tough fish too. Can survive in some pretty crazy environments. Let's see, if we got another one. I'm gonna catch some fish on bait. Call it a day. I'm supposed to get some thunderstorms pretty soon too, so. Dang. Dang. Dangity. <laughs> no idea. It's gotta be a red, black drum maybe. Another one. Hit hard. Man, it's a black drum. Right. The drums are in town. Some ugly looking fish, huh? Toad fish? Man, too many toad. No, that's not toad. Works for me. I stick him like a madman. It's a pretty nice, better one. Come on, come on, little ugly. Nice. It's a pretty decent one. too much on the first outing, but a couple of these guys are just fine. Just fine. They are good eating fish. They really are. I wouldn't discount them as that one's already a little larger than I'd like to eat, but I don't have ice with me and I'm good, but black drum aren't bad. on the drums today man there's no sheep around plenty of black drum though just as fine huh I'm okay with that because that's a lot better than nothing all right so that wasn't too bad I mean it wasn't good but a couple fish caught right that wasn't really the purpose of today well it was a little bit uh, I do need to put a fish finder on it I'm keeping it uh, I think I'm gonna use this as my not out front boat um, just, uh, yeah, it does a lot of things right. It's fast, tracks well. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Can't complain uh, about this situation. So, good stuff so far. So, we will continue to see how this boat develops over time. Uh, oh, we got a fish. Look at that. A gold spoon. It's a lizard fish. I bet. See the lizard fish? More bluefish. It feels like one of those too. Oh, Jack Creval. Creval Jack. 
And I was just hoping we could find some big ones in here this year. We get some big ones in this Cape Fear region occasionally. It sounds like. It's word on the street. I make that grunting noise. I'll go catch my monsters in Florida next uh, soon enough, man. Oh, I can't wait to do that this winter, as usual.